Okay then, so we've seen how to make page components for different routes and we've seen how to add styles to the different components. Now at the moment, to go to those different pages, we have to manually type the paths into the address bar and press enter. So really instead, we need to have some links in the header which can direct us to those other pages. And that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna add some links to this header component. Now the header component is already pre-made and you can find it inside the components folder. So you can see at the minute, Inside the template, it's outputting a load of anchor tags and the site logo as well. And we don't need any of that, so I'm just going to delete all of it so we can start from scratch. Now, when we're outputting links, we can either use anchor tags or we can use the link component provided to us by Quick. And that looks something like this. We have the link component, which then takes a prop called href, just like an anchor tag does. And the href is just a path to whatever page we want to navigate to. So that could be, for example, forward slash about. And these link components would still just output regular anchor tags in the DOM. But the benefit of using these link components is that they intercept the request to the server. So when you click on one of these links, Quick is going to stop the request reaching the server and instead just rely on front end routing to show the new page component. So Let's make this header template and output a few of these links. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a nav and then inside that we're going to have an H1 and the H1 will say Mario Life. This is the site title. Now, just before the H1, I also want to have an image on the left. Now, I've prepped that image. It's right over here. So I'm going to place that inside the public folder. It's called Mario underscore block and it looks like this. This is from Adobe Stock. So I'll try and remember to leave the link to that down below if you want to grab it. So I need to place inside the source forward slash Mario underscore block dot JPEG. Remember, everything inside the public folder is found at the root of the site. OK, for the alt, I'll just say logo. And then after the H1, I want to do a UL and we need a list basically of different links. There's going to be three links. So we have one link for the home page, one for about and one for contact. So let's do an li tag first of all, and inside here, a link component. Now, by the way, I imported that already up here. We import link from builder.io forward slash quick city. So make sure you do that. And we need an href prop for this. It's going to be just forward slash, and this is going to be for the home page. So we'll say home. Now I'm going to copy this dude and paste it in a couple more times, like so. And right here, we'll do about. And over here, I will say about as well. And then for this one, I will say forward slash contact. And then down here, I will say contact as well. So let's save that now and preview in the browser. It's probably going to look terrible because we've not styled it. And in fact, it does already. This is the image, one gigantic image. I tell you what, before we preview this, let's add some CSS. Now, I'm going to grab that from my repo, which is over here. Woohoo! So feel free to grab that as well. And back over here inside the CSS, the header.css, I'm going to get rid of everything that was already there and I'm going to paste in my own CSS and save it. Now, we can see the header right here. We're using that theme yellow color, which is defined inside the global styles. So that's the header background. And then we have a nav, which we display as flex. Give it some padding, a max width, etc. The image, we give it a max width of 40 pixels and height of 50 pixels. We style the H1, the nav LIs, inline block, the anchor tags, etc. So there's nothing special going on over here. I just wanted to make it look presentable. So let us now preview this in the browser. All right, so that looks pretty good. And now we can navigate between the different pages. So I can click home and it's going to take us to the home page. About goes to forward slash about and contact goes to forward slash contact. And like I said, the good thing about this is that now we're not sending that request to the server anymore because when we first request the website, that is sending a request to the server, but then it becomes a single page application in the browser. And all of the routing, when we click on these links, is done in the browser from that moment onwards. OK, cool. So that's all working. However, you see these things right here, they're not styled. And we did try to style those inside the CSS. If we take a look, they should be white and they should have some other styles as well. Now, this is the case when we're using scoped styles. I found that when I use scoped styles, then sometimes the anchor tags don't get styled. However, if I change this to just use styles and the import as well, 
then it is gonna style those, all right? So that's just a little quirk that I've found. Okay, so now we've seen how links work, I wanna also take a look at how layouts work in Quick Sites. So at the minute, we can see the header component on the page, but why does it even get rendered in the first place? And the same for the footer as well, because we've not seen where those things have been output in the template anywhere, only the page content. Well, they're both being output by a file called layout.tsx, which is another component right here inside the routes directory. So if we take a look inside this component, we can see that we're outputting the header component and some footer content right here. And you'll also notice this slot component as well. We're gonna talk more about slots later on, but where we see this slot component is where Quick essentially outputs all of the page components. So whenever there is a layout.tsx file presence in the routes folder, then Quick will automatically use that to wrap our page components. If it's not there, then it won't use anything to wrap the components. And I can demo that by renaming the layout file quickly to something else and then refreshing in the browser. And you'll see that we no longer have that header or footer content because it's not using the layout file anymore. So it's only when there is a layout file present called layout.tsx that Quick will use it to wrap the page components, but it's not compulsory. So anyway, now let's update the template a little bit inside this layout file. So I'm not actually gonna do too much with this. I still wanna keep a footer, but we'll get rid of that and do instead a little paragraph that says copyright 2023 Mario life, okay? And then we'll keep the header component right here. We're also gonna give this a class equal to container. And that's just so we can add some styles in the global CSS, which I'll do now. I'm gonna paste these in down here. So you can see we have some stars for the container, which gives it a max width and some margin and padding. And then also the footer is a very light gray, bit of padding, text align center, flex grow one. So it goes all the way to the bottom of the page. So if we take a look at that now, okay, that's looking a bit better for the site. Yeah, cool. So there's a couple of things I also want to show you when it comes to layouts. So let me just get rid of this. And the first thing is if you want a particular page, to not use the layout, you can do. We could rename it. So if we come to this component and rename the component file so that it has, I think it's at the end of it. So exclamation mark right there. So now the index page inside the about folder won't have this template, this layout. And we can see that over here. So I'm on the about page and we no longer get the template. However, if we go to contact, then we do get it but straight back to about and we don't. So that's if we don't want a particular route to have, we we'll just rename this, a layout. All right, so the second thing I wanna talk about is custom layouts or multiple layouts rather. So we can have more than one layout file. So I can create a new layout file right here and it must have the name layout dash and then whatever you wanna call it. So I could say layout dash test.tsx and what I will do is grab all of this stuff, copy it and paste it inside this new layout file. We'll do something different. So for example, just below the header, we'll output a paragraph tag that says, this is the test layout. Now, what if we want a file to use this particular layout? Let me just change this, it's bugging me. All right. What if we want a particular page to use this layout? Well we'd come to that page and rename the file to at, and then whatever we call the layout after the hyphen. So for example, at test.tsx, because it was layout hyphen test. So if we go to the about page now, you can see it uses the test layout, but if we go to contact and home, it uses the normal layout, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's all there is to know about layouts for now. I'm gonna rename this back to just index and I'm gonna delete the test layout because we don't need that. Awesome. So next up, we're gonna talk about working with state. 